everyone. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time for us all to get together and enjoy some wonderful family yoga time together. Now today, it's the jolly holly holiday season and we are off to enjoy spreading peace and love to all beings everywhere with a magical adventure all about a polar bear called Joy Bob. It's time to jingle all the way with our yoga now. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same position by crossing our legs, sitting down on our bottoms and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we're off to meet Joy Bob, the polar bear. Joy Bob is all about joy. So today's story should make us very happy. Now we've got to get ready for the cold, so let's crisscross our fingers and do some big bear breaths. Underneath your chin, breathing in and lift your elbows. <sighs> breathing out to the sky. <sighs> breathing in, lift your elbows. <sighs> breathing out to the sky. <sighs> and one more, breathing in, lift your elbows. <sighs> breathing out to the sky. <sighs> That's better. Now we need to get warm from the inside out. So let's make some porridge. We twist one way and we get our porridge. Mmm. And we shake it into the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Then we twist the other way and we get some milk. And we pour in the milk. Shh. We stir it one way and then stir it the other way. Mmm, tasty porridge. We roll a hand around on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time as we eat it. Clever, well done everyone. Now we're ready to go. And oh, before we do though, we should make Joy Bob a special sandwich. We put our legs out nice and long and we butter our bread. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, 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 bit more. Butter, 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 tiny bit more. Butter, butter, butter. We take our arms out nice and wide and we twist around and we get polar bear's favourite little fish. Here they are. Flap, 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 flap. Then we twist around the other way and we get a nice other piece of bread to pop on the top, bending our knees if we need to so we can touch our toes. Very good everyone. Now we're going to take an aeroplane. Coming up onto our knees, we're flying north to the Arctic Circle. Take your arms out wide and drop down onto one of your hands. Put your foot in front of your knee and shoot your leg out behind you and wave at the sky as you go Neow. Coming back to two knees, take your arms out wide again. Coming down onto the other side, and put your other foot in front of your other knee this time. Shoot your back leg out and... Neow. When we get to the Arctic Circle, there's a sledge waiting for us. Coming onto your tummies, take your feet towards your bottom and hold them with your hands. Lift yourself up into a sledge shape. Wow! Amazing sledges! Our sledge is being pulled by husky dogs. Coming down, put your hands down and your feet down, lift your bottom to the sky and woof 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 like a husky dog. Can you wag your tail as well? Ooh, very good everyone! We take the reins and we bounce down the mountain. Bounce, 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 whoosh, 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 whoosh. Bounce, 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 whoosh, 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 whoosh. Phew! It's tiring all this sledging. We stop and we have a look through our binoculars, bringing our thumbs and fingers together. Have a little look through. <gasps> Ooh! We see a large, white, furry bear coming towards us. It's Joy Bob! Yay! 
Joy Bob sits down like a big bear with his legs out nice and wide and he says, Hey there, welcome to the snow. It's so lovely you could come. We've got some joy to spread. Putting his hands together, he bows and namastays to the husky dogs. Namaste. And then we pad through the snow. Putting your hands down, taking your legs out wide, coming up onto your tiptoes and padding one paw after the other. We want to snowboard down this mountain, so we put one foot forward, one foot back, bend our knee and take our arms out wide. And we go wee down the mountain one way, then we jump our legs the other way, and we do it the other way. Joy Bob has got a special way of getting down a hill. He goes on his bottom, sitting on your bottom, lift up your feet, lift up your hands, and woo! With a big joyful bear hug. What a great way to get down a hill. When we get to the bottom, we meet a waddle of penguins. Standing up, put your feet out wide, and waddle about like a penguin. Waddle, 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 waddle. The penguins are rather grumpy at the moment because they've all got their eggs in a muddle, so no one knows whose eggs are who. Joy Bob claps his big polar bear hands and the whole waddle falls silent. Joy Bob closes his big polar bear eyes and from the piece we can hear the songs that the babies are singing in their eggs to their mummies and daddies. Every baby has their own special song that their mummies and daddies know. So from the piece, the penguins are brought back together again. And once again, there is joy in the waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. Joy Bob does a very happy namaste and a bow. Namaste. And on we go, padding through the snow. Hands down, feet wide, up onto your tiptoes, padding through the snow. All of a sudden, Joy Bob stops and looks up. He sniffs the air. We wonder what he's smelling. Joy Bob hasn't got very good eyesight, so he needs to use his nose. He says, Is that you, Geoffrey? We see an arctic fox coming out of the fog, coming onto all fours. Can you lift up your little foxy bushy tail and give that a little wag? Yes, Joy Bob, it's me, Geoffrey. I fell in the ice cold water when I was trying to catch a fish and now I'm all cold and wet. Oh dear. Joy Bob scoops poor little Geoffrey up into his big warm arms. Come here, Geoffrey, cradling him like a baby. There, there, Geoffrey, you'll soon be warm again. Don't you worry. He then puts Geoffrey in his other arms, cradling him again like a baby. hush a bye Geoffrey, hush a bye Geoffrey, hush a bye Geoffrey, hush a bye Geoffrey. Bless Geoffrey. Hey, we suddenly remember our sandwich. Maybe we should give it to little Geoffrey. He must still be quite hungry. So we cross our legs, we reach behind us for our backpack. Oh, not that way, maybe the other way. Yes, there it is. We take out our sandwich and we give it to Geoffrey. <gasps> Giving this lovely gift makes us feel really joyful inside too. What a lovely feeling. <gasps> All of a sudden, it begins to snow. Pitter patter, 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 pitter patter. The snowflakes are huge. Standing up, legs wide arms wide. They're like big feathers floating through the sky. Can you tilt all the way over to one side and all the way over to the other side? All the way to one side, all the way to the other side. All of a sudden though the snow gets heavier. It becomes a snowstorm swishing us and swaying us from side to side. Swishing and swaying. Oh dear, we need to find some shelter and fast we huddle up under Joy Bob's big white tummy. Ooh. We come to a blob of snow and we think, what is this? Joy Bob says, this is an igloo or a snow house. Legs wide, take your hands above your head and can you make a dome shape with your fingers? 
Yay! We'll be safe and warm in here. We kick the door open using our feet. Hands down, let's donkey kick our feet up. Whoop! And down. So we can wiggle in like little snakes. On your tummy, let's wiggle in. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yay! Now we're inside. Joy Bob prepares a big pot of hot chocolate. Stirring one way. Mmm. And stirring the other way. Ooh, how delicious. Soon we're all snuggled up in a blanket with a lovely cup of hot chocolate. Then we hear a noise. <coughs> on the side of the igloo. Who on earth could that be? Joy Bob has his breath on the window. <sighs> and we see outside is a reindeer. Take your legs out long in front of you and bend up one of your knees. Put your cloppy hoof over your leg, sit up nice and tall and look over your shoulder like a reindeer. He looks through the window, putting your legs out long again and swap your cloppy hooves over, putting the other one over this side and lifting up tall and twisting. Joy Bob opens the door. Coming to your knees, take one leg out to the side. Open up your arm and whoop. Quickly close the door to not let the snow in. Bring your knees back together. Other leg out to the other side and other arm into the sky. Ooh. In comes the reindeer and he's got a gold nose. He says, hello, my name's Rodney. I lost all my friends in the snowstorm. Do you mind if I wait here with you until the snow clears? Thank you. Of course, Rodney. You are welcome in our igloo. Hey, why not have some hot chocolate and a blanket? Soon Rodney is all huddled up with his blanket and hot chocolate. Joy Bob has a brilliant idea. Sitting with his big bare legs out wide, he says, Hey, everyone. Why not have a sing song? Let's have a good round of jingle bells to bring in some proper joy. Arms in the air. Let's go! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, and so we bring joy and festive cheer into this wonderful, funny little igloo that we're in. We've got very lovely friends here. We're happy, we're warm, and we're loved. What a great feeling, feeling all that joy. And now we snuggle ourselves up into the wonderful warm arms of our new friend, Joy Bob. Lying ourselves down in his super lush warm fur, we get ourselves cosy and snuggled and settle down for a little rest, putting our arms down by our sides and closing our eyes. What an amazing feeling when we close our eyes. We can see all sorts of colours swirling around in the darkness. It's the northern lights. How beautiful they are in this snowy, cold, Christmassy world. What a lovely feeling, that joy inside. And the biggest sense of joy we get is when we give something. How special is that? Just like Joy Bob, giving the penguins their peace so they could find their babies. Giving Geoffrey those snuggles so he could be warm again. Giving us and Rodney shelter so that we could wait until the storm passes. It's lovely to give. It makes us full of joy. Now with that lovely peace in your heart, inside your tummy, have a little smile to yourself.
slowly now. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And bring your knees up to give yourself a little cuddle. We roll ourselves over onto our side, opening our eyes softly to come up to sitting with our hands together at our hearts. And we finish by saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste, full of joy. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Keep that lovely feeling inside. Thanks for coming. And come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. That was amazing. Well done, you. Now we have a Zen Den called Movies in My Mind, which is all about making your mind like a movie screen and visualising exactly what you want to happen. Your mind is a very powerful thing. Let's go to it. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den. I'm Jamie and this is your place for a few moments of blissful peace to feel all calm and relaxed. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. That's better. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. We need some music. Ooh, look at all of these we get to pick from. Let's choose some that help us feel all lovely and calm. Hmm. The sound of fluffy clouds. A light rain. Mm. And a flute. Yes, perfect. Now for the smell. Ooh, what have we got here? Wow, look at these. Onion smell? Banana smell, hmm. Oh, yes, let's smell the popcorn. Ah, oh, so yummy and marvelous. And today we're going to make mind movies, so popcorn is perfect. It can be fun to make movies in our minds. And it's not as hard as we think. There are just a few little steps we need to take to get ourselves ready and then we'll be watching our very own movie screen in our head with our eyes closed. It's a bit like dreaming but you're really awake. So here's how we do it. We need to get really comfy. Our bodies need to be totally relaxed. Now I'm going to sit with my legs crossed so I can keep an eye on you. But if you want to do it properly, I mean full Zen Den style, you can lie back and lay your arms down by your sides and close your eyes. You decide how to make yourself as comfy as possible. I'll count to 10 to give you some time to get settled. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, everyone. Now we're ready. We take deep and long breaths all the way in, filling our bellies, and all the way out with a sigh. Ah. We do a couple more of those all the way in and all the way out. 
and slowly we start to feel that lovely melty feeling of relaxation. Keeping your eyes closed helps you feel like you're in the movie theatre where it's dark so you can really see the pictures on the screen right there in your mind. Let's get our movie started with some pictures. I'll call out the words and let's see if you can see the picture that matches the word just in your head. Don't worry if it doesn't happen straight away. Keep going and it will start eventually. Sometimes we have to practice a bit before we get the hang of something. Here we go. With your eyes closed, you can see a blank space, all black and dark. Now you see an apple, a bright green and red apple. Yes, there it is. Now you can see a red fire truck, a shiny red fire truck. Now you see a Christmas tree with its twinkling lights sparkling. So pretty. Now you see a butterfly. You can see its wings. It has the most beautiful coloured wings. Now you see a door. Looking at your door, what type of door is it? Is it a large wooden one? What colour is it? You look at your door and see the handle too. You reach forward and put your hand on the handle and feel it on your hand. What does the handle feel like? You know that when you open this door, it will lead you to a place where you feel really happy and safe. Go on, go ahead and open it. There is your special place. In the movie of your mind, what do you see? Breathe in deeply and feel what you feel. Breathe out slowly and enjoy being here in your mind movie. You can come back here to this place whenever you need. Now it's time to come back, to return from your little mind movie. I'll count to 10 and slowly you can come back to where you started, feeling much more calm and settled. One, two, three, wiggle your fingers, four, five, six, wiggle your toes, seven, eight, nine, take a nice big stretch, ten. Come up to sitting with your legs crossed. Well done. Hopefully you saw some of those pictures in your mind and maybe even found a lovely place behind your door. Hmm. No worries if not. It can take time to make that happen. Keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den master. Bye bye. You were great! Well done, you! Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe.
door pose. Coming down onto two knees, we take our leg to the side. We reach our arm up to the sky and rest our other hand on our long leg. Now we lean over to the side to creak open the door. Here we go. E Ooh, it's getting pretty chilly out there. Brrr. Now door or gate pose is very good for stretching our sides, making more space to breathe, stretching our legs, and it's especially good if we're waking up in the morning. I tell you what, it's also really good if you play sports. Yes. Now it's getting rather chilly in here, so let's close this door and do it on the other side. Coming back to two knees, taking your other leg long now, reaching up with your arm, and let's close this door. Eee! Ah, oh, phew, that's better. Now we can have a nice cup of tea to warm up. Oh, thanks. Door pose. Well done you, that was brilliant. Now we have a Nama story for you, which is Cosmic Kids in words and pictures. Sit back and enjoy it. Cosmic Kids in words and pictures, Nama stories, here we come. The Robin King. It's Christmas Eve and the snow begins to fall. A time of joy and cheer to one and all. But the red-breasted Robin King doesn't really care. He doesn't have any friends because he doesn't like to share. He sits atop the trees and tweets louder than all the rest, puffing up his feathers and sticking out his chest. With a crown upon his head, he believes he is the king, and all the other animals are there to serve him. I'm the ruler of all, and they do as I say. I don't give a monkeys if tomorrow's Christmas day. He chirrups his bossy orders to the hare and the mouse. Go get me that fruit cake from the farmer's house. The hare and the mouse can't possibly steal the cake. It's been specially made for Christmas day. As they fret and worry about what can be done, the hare has an idea. Let's bake him a new one. So they set to work, mixing ingredients for the cake. Then into the oven it goes, 40 minutes to bake. Tick tock, time passes, and the oven goes ping. Then the hare and the mouse deliver it proudly to the king. As the robin greedily eats the cake, the hare and the mouse quietly tiptoe away. Where do you think you're going? The robin tweets, a mouthful of cake crumbs flying from his beak. The mouse bravely replies, Papa, please, may we go? With it being Christmas Eve, our families are waiting at home. The robin king pauses and then firmly says, No, you're not going anywhere until I say so. The mouse and the hare look down at the floor. Whatever they do, the robin always wants more. They stand very still under the robin's careful gaze. He ruffles his feathers, saying, You just can't get the staff these days. The robin king is completely unstoppable, and now he asks for the downright impossible. The stars in the sky are much too bright. Go turn them off. Yes, off. That's right. The hare and the mouse have no idea what to do. They look up to the sky in hope of a clue. When all of a sudden, an angel flies down with wings and a halo and a flowing white gown. With the strum of a harp, she comes into land. I thought I'd pop down to give you a hand. That cheeky little robin has got you wrapped round his wing, running left, right and centre, doing everything. You have done enough and it's time to say no. But you have to be brave and tell him so. When he finally sees that being bossy doesn't work, he'll eventually stop acting like a complete burke. 
So the hare steps up and goes courageously to the king. I'm sorry, Robin, but we can't do what you're asking. It's time for us to go home to our families, and we wish you the very happiest of holidays. The Robin King doesn't know what to say. He usually always gets his own way. He starts hopping around and stamping his feet. Then his crown falls off and rolls down the street. My crown! My crown! I've lost my crown! Without it, I'm nothing! I can't be king now! Then the angel appears and she gives him this advice. It's nice to be important. It's more important to be nice. Well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace Out Snowman Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Find yourself a place to lie down or sit, with legs crossed, sitting up straight, or on a chair. Take a moment now to get yourself in position, feeling happy and ready for your Peace Out. Take a little time for any last minute wriggles or fidgets. And when you're settled, let your body become still and calm. There, well done. Start to see if you can just notice your breathing. Can you feel it rising and falling as it comes in? and out. Just see if you can follow it as it comes in and goes out. You don't need to try. Breathing was the very first thing you learned to do as a baby, so it comes very natural to you. As you breathe, and pay attention to it. You make your body feel all soft and relaxed inside. If you haven't already, you can gently, softly close your eyes. That often makes it a bit easier to notice our breathing. Now we're feeling all peaceful and relaxed. Let's enjoy going on a special journey in our mind. All you have to do is be here. Listen and see if your imagination can make the pictures for you. Like you're in a dream. Let's begin. It's winter and outside the snow is falling. You are inside, all warm and cosy, watching it through the window. You follow the snowflakes as they flutter down from the sky and land on the ground. There's so much. It's starting to make a carpet of soft, powdery snow. As you watch, the world outside begins to turn white. You have an idea. I'm going to build a snowman. Yes. You put on your coat, 
your boots, your gloves, a scarf and a hat. Ready. Out you go into the garden. The air is chilly and fresh. You run excitedly, enjoying the way the snow crunches under your boots. You stop and stand still for a moment. When it's snowing, it's so quiet. There's no sound of cars or birds. It's like everything is under a big blanket. You lift your face to the sky. With your eyes closed, you feel the snow gently pitter-pattering on your face. You open your mouth to catch snowflakes on your tongue. The snow turns to ice-cold water in your mouth. It feels nice, refreshing. Time to get started with your snowman. You get to work, rolling giant snowballs to make the snowman's body and head. You give him sticks for arms and make his face, adding two pieces of coal for his eyes, some little stones to be his smile, and finally, his carrot nose. There, you feel so pleased to have made him and stand back to admire him. What a proud snowman he is. You head inside to warm up and enjoy a hot chocolate. From the window, you can see the snowman enjoying the garden. And for the next couple of days, he stands tall and strong, even though now the snow has stopped. On day three, you wake up to a bright sunny morning. How lovely is the blue sky? You remember the snowman and run to the window to see. There he is. Only now, he seems to be smaller. He's melting. Once you're dressed, you go out to see him. He glistens in the sunlight. The frosty snow sparkling as it melts. For a moment, you feel sad. You hoped he could be there forever. You were getting used to him being there. But then you realise he can't be. He will eventually melt into the earth. At this point, you consider how to be. Do you get upset and feel sad about the snowman melting? Or do you let him go? Accepting that this is what happens. It's natural. And save yourself from feeling bad. Letting go may feel like a hard thing to do. But in some ways, it feels right. We are very good at getting things. But it takes extra strength and practice to let go of things. Much in our life is about letting go, learning to be okay when we don't always get what we want. When we accept this, our life becomes easier and we then appreciate something even more when we have it, just like the snowman. How much we loved him while he was here and how we will remember him sometimes. And that will make us smile. Slowly now begin to come back to the present moment. Take a deeper breath and wiggle your fingers and toes. Enjoy a stretch and slowly, gently open your eyes letting the world back in again. Before moving anywhere, just sit for a moment here and notice how you feel. Your body and mind thanking you for this time, this peaceful time, just to be with yourself. 
be pleased with yourself for doing this and know that each time you do, you help yourself in so many ways. I hope you come back soon for some more peace out time. This is Jamie saying peace out.